parents, um, this is the video for our 8th grade parents, so if you are a parent of a 6th or a 7th grader, please check out our other video. This one is geared towards our students who are helping lead Blitz. Um, so parents, the first thing we want to let you know is that it is not too late for your student to register still. Just because your child is helping lead the weekend does not mean that they are exempt from registering. Even if they can only be there one of the two days, please, please, please sign them up. We would love to have them there. Um, we're about to enter into like a weirder schedule. Um, so Wednesday night, our rules are gonna be different for the eighth graders than for the sixth and seventh. So we are asking your eighth grade student if they are on the speaking team, the skit team, or the games team to be at church by 6 p.m. There will be dinner, not provided, but we'll be selling pizza slices for a dollar in the snack shop um, if your student cannot bring dinner with them. Um, but we are asking those three teams, skit, speaking, and games to be here at six. All of the other teams and all of the other students, we are asking to be here at no later than 6.30. Um, we are doing a full run through of the weekend, and so we need all of the students there on time to get that started. Um, so we're so excited. Um, and now we're going to move into actual Blitz schedule. Um, Garrett? Yeah, so Friday, as you know, is the first day of Blitz. And this is just a reminder before we get into the schedule, is that like Amanda said, your kids are different. So you might see some different times in the schedule than what we're giving you right now, but this is because your kids are actively leading it, so they're going to get there a little bit early to set up, a little bit later to clean up. That's a really important part of the weekend, is making them feel like they own it, so their times will be different. And the first different time is going to be at 5.30 on Friday, and we ask that your um, students can get there so they can help set up for the weekend, help with check-in, and also that they bring their own meal. So it's B-Y-O-M on that night. So they can eat whatever they want, but we just have anything for them to eat that night and then their night ends at 10 15 which is just 15 minutes later than the other kids just to help them be able to clean up and without you feeling like you're sitting in your car for a while and stressing out while they're cleaning up and that's still not too late and just an important thing is when they go home that night and that's a key word they'll be going home they can't sleep here we'll all be at home too but they should get sleep like we encourage the other sixth and seventh grade students participating to get sleep but for eighth graders like don't pull an all-nighter if you're speaking leading worship like leading some service project we can't have you falling asleep like while you're painting that would just be bad and it's like a adult world experience like get sleep so you can do your job right cool. um on saturday saturday's our busy day which is why it is so important to get sleep the night before um so saturday we are asking your eighth grade student to get here at 8 a.m um, we will be feeding them pancakes, so if that's not enough or they have some dietary restrictions, either feed them accordingly beforehand or let us know and we'll see what we can do. Um, and so 8 a.m. Saturday morning, we will feed them. Some things that your student will need to participate on Saturday, um, first off is socks. We will be roller skating as a youth group at the Change Center, um, and so they just need socks to participate in that. Um, also at the Change Center that day, there'll be some options for other things so they can bring extra money for the arcade um, and to do rock climbing. So if those are things they're interested in, have them bring money for that. They will also need money for lunch that day. Lunch is not provided. We will provide dinner that night. It'll be Chick-fil-A, but lunch is not provided. They'll go with their service group. So money for lunch that day. Service clothing. Um, we will be doing service projects that day. Your students hopefully should be aware of what the service projects will be, uh, but just be sure that they dress accordingly. So clothes to choose, clothes that they can get paint on, um, just not their Sunday best. Um, so we are also asking for pickup at 8.30 that night. Um, that just gives us enough time and them enough time to clean and reset the space for Sunday morning. Um, Garrett? Yeah, so I mean, all in all, it's gonna be a really fun weekend and we just want to encourage you that even if you're not coming to the weekend with them, you can use this as a really good opportunity to get to engage with your student. And just like ask them what their job is, what they're doing, and to start conversations about like what they're hoping to get out of it. I mean, there's just so many different opportunities and ways you could go through it. So just don't let this pass you up. It's super easy. I mean, you can even just talk about it on the ride there and on the ride back. But just, you know, like seize that moment and engage with your student. And on that note, see you soon.